I'd been a designer all my life and I still had a whole lot of ideas and concepts which um, I wanted to implement. So I carried on working as if I was working for somebody else. During the, uh, this, this time, um, I had as a colleague, uh, Josh Thomas. Now Josh had been working also for the same company that I'd been working for. Uh, this was a UK company. And Josh was the uh, sales manager for the American side of the operation. I've known Rupert for about 25 years now. I first met him when working at AMAC. Uh, AMAC was bought by Harman and uh, then ceased trading. And it was when Rupert was 80 years old, he asked if I would like to move to Texas and start Rupert Neve Designs with him, uh, bringing about the gear that's now part of the line. From our humble beginnings, offering a single two-channel mic pre, we've been able to grow the range quite a bit, uh, giving the quality and the sonic benefits that Mr. Neve's designs have been known for for the last 40 plus years. I, as a Christian, know that I was created by God, who is the great creator of everything. And he created me in his own image. Well, uh, that means that I had a creative talent built into me. And I had this very fortunate situation uh, of meeting up with Josh, of uh, developing the ideas to the point where my creative capabilities, if you like, could be utilized and could see the light of day. It was imperative from the onset with the formation of Rupert Neve Designs that not only do we carry his designs, but he passes down uh, the knowledge of transformers and circuit design to our team of engineers so we can carry on into the future. The company has grown and matured greatly over the last 10 years with the, the goal being to bring out Mr. Neve's designs um, to the market. Uh, we've grown from just a, a handful of people and what started in a lab in, in a spare room at Rupert's house um, to our own facilities with a full R&D team and production staff. We were very fortunate in uh, being joined by several engineers who themselves were basic audio designers with this same driving interest in music and in the basic knowledge of uh, audio circuitry. Um, my concepts were actually new to them, but they very quickly picked up what I was trying to do and helped me to achieve a, a better performance than I could achieve on my own. Uh, these people were enormously helpful to me. They were able to put stuff together under my, uh, well, I was going to say under my guidance. It's hardly even guidance. I would have long discussions with them. They would pick up the idea and they would work at it and come up with a design which was entirely satisfactory. And uh, so that was really the moment of pride that others too could actually pick up the idea and fly with it. Once I'd managed to get engineers to uh, envision the concept that I was aiming for and then to take it a stage further themselves, that was my object, not that they should be replicas of me, but that they should follow the principles that I laid down and that they should be able to go a step further. And that's what they do, because not only are they trained and they are qualified, but they have now laid aside most of the, dare I say it, the garbage that has taught them by the conventional educational system and they've applied the knowledge that they now have 
and they've applied it beneficially so that the designs that they have come up with um, are in every way superior uh, to those which I was able to produce by myself. So the training was really them training me as much as me training them.